Welcome back. As we head into harvest season, a tradition is happening to give thanks for that growing season. It is called the Blessing of the Grapes, and your family is invited. Father Thomas Reagan is the chaplain of the National Shrine of Our Lady of Good Help, and we also welcome Craig Fletcher from Mono Rose Winery. Good morning to both morning. of you. Thanks for having us. Well, having Father, us. let's start with you. A sure. brief introduction to the shrine for people who have maybe seen the sign driving in the rural roads and aren't quite sure what to expect there. So. In the history of the church, there's been a few shrines uh, where it's been purported that Our Lady, mm -hmm. the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of Jesus, uh, appeared. Okay, and the shrine of Our of Our Lady of Good Help here in Champion, Wisconsin, is the first and only wow. uh, shrine that's been approved uh, by the church itself. So the Catholic Church uh, goes through a, a very uh, uh, heavy process to determine whether or not these things are true and whether or not we're, we, we are allowed to believe them, if that makes sense. It does. And so we're not required, okay. okay, but you're allowed to believe that as a Catholic. Wow, what an mm -hmm. interesting sight mm -hmm. to learn about. The blessing of the grapes, how does that tie in as well with the religious aspect? In the, in, again, in the history of the church, you know, we, we're talking about centuries and centuries and centuries, and uh, there's, there's one tradition that goes back to, uh, for many, many uh, centuries in France where they would take the, the first, uh, with the first harvest, they would oh, take the sure. best grapes and they would bring them to the church to have them blessed. Okay. And then that would be sort of the lead into uh, to everything that the, 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 uh, the people were, uh, were, were believing in terms of uh, God's blessings upon the grapes and upon their wine or whatever it might be. Well, an important yeah. thing for winemakers to yes, have a good yes, harvest. Yes, Talk a little bit about your winery's role in this event and why it's important to connect with consumers. Um, I've been making altar wine for uh, Nativity Parish for about five years. Our priest ask, asked me to do it. Um, it was very humbling when he did, and also St. Norbert's Eye gets wine from us also. Wow. And we were involved in this, this event for the last two years, and this is the third year. We'll actually be there sampling wine that we're also, uh, the chef is private labeling for himself, and that will be out there too. Uh, there's two wines that we've private labeled for him. And he'll be do, using that in his cooking uh, event for the day. And uh, so we got to be involved in that, too. We're seeing him here, Chef Ace Champion. Yes. Yep. And this event really encourages people to connect with local foods. Why is that yeah. a passion for you? Well, because we, we designed the, the winery to, to be a local stopping place for people, so, something like, like a Cheers per, in wineries, per se, sure. where we have a lot of locals that come in. We uh, try to sell locally. We, if we have any events, Ace has been in with our uh, our. Uh, we're cooking at our place for the last five years, so we try to keep them involved and just private labeling for other places too. A good reason if you haven't had a chance to visit the shrine, certainly for this event. Thank you for having us. Well, we appreciate <laughs> you being here, and you, you are able to actually register for this event up to the day it is happening, which is Sunday. If you're curious about finding more information, shrineofourladyofgoodhelp.com is the place to start. You can also pre-purchase your tickets there. The shrine itself is located in Champion Sunday, September 8th for the Blessing of the Grapes, and we wish you a great harvest season as well. Thank you so Thank much you. again Thanks for being for here. Us.